come along and play with me, yeah I've got a game I know you want to play All day, let's get together, we can play You brighten up my cloudy days, yeah You always know the words to say, yeah A friend indeed, you always be my pal Right now, let's play a game, I'll show you how And you bang the drum and I'll sing the solo Wherever I go, I know that you We come in and just sit down? Yeah. Are you okay in those chairs? And Do I look okay? <laughs> It's, it's like it doesn't, it's like it has a high end. It has a and high I'm end? I'm on the low end. Oh. So I'm going to come around here. Okay. And face you. Hmm. The only problem is when you're as short as me and your feet don't touch the floor, yeah. you feel quite stupid. And how does it feel boxed into a corner? Well, I'm not boxed in unless you do this. Because I can still, I can, I can hold my space. Oh. Look at me holding my space. I see you Actually, holding it feels very uncomfortable to do that. <laughs> <clears throat> You know, I thought this was a really neat place to do this because it's kind of like a box, like we put ourselves in life. Mm -hmm. You know, we keep we keep having to adjust. Okay, do I face this way? Do I face this way? Do I yeah. put one leg up? You know, <laughs> we're always trying to. That's it. I'm gonna do that. Okay, yeah. let's keep going. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see. No, oh, I one got leg. my white socks on. <laughs> right from the black yeah, socks. Like, on like can we find our position okay. regardless of the space? Yes. You know, because so many of us think we gotta run out of the space. We gotta leave the space. We gotta clear the space. We gotta get rid of what's in the space. But what if what truly just needs to shift is us? It has nothing to do with space. So oh, you said when you got the aha, it went like aha. <laughs> no, I settled into my space. Oh, she adjusted to her space. Yeah, I feel good. And look at how supported you are once you adjust to your space. I feel really good. Yeah. yeah. Join me. <laughs> I feel good in my space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in mm -hmm. Unity, um, yesterday, before I got up to speak, the Reverend Ray did his daily word. And the daily word was comfort. To mm -hmm. find comfort mm -hmm. in life, to find comfort in everything. And as I thought about that, to me, the message was, it's not about getting comfortable in our own skin. It's actually about getting comfortable outside of our skin. I thought you were going to go to the conformity thing, courage. We can go there, too. Yeah, that's, that's where I thought you were going. So I was patiently waiting for you to make that point. Would you like me to go there next? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, cause it's, it's kind of saying the same thing. It is kind of saying the same yeah. thing. What, what ended up happening is people keep coming up to me and saying, <clears throat> you have such courage for what you're doing, courage for this rebel road and, and yeah. how you're out there. And... You know, it never seemed like it was the opposite of fear because I keep telling people, to me, courage is being with and taking the fear that you have, but yet loving yourself enough, finally having the self-love necessary to say, I'm going to do this for me anyway, regardless of this fear that I have. And then yesterday in the show, after I finished, one woman said to me, um, I heard or read somewhere that the opposite of courage is not actually fear, that it's actually conformity. Conformity. Where are you conforming in your life? Because just stepping out of that conformity might take you into courage. So profound. It was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, people say that <clears throat> to me, too. Like, God, you have so much courage to get into that little 31-foot house with all those people, you know, are you insane? You know, that's, I mean, that's, what's, yourself. that's what's underneath the, oh yeah, yeah. so much courage. Yeah. But that rings so true to me because I think I said on the very first video or the second one that I had to take myself outside of the form that I've been living in because I'm tricky and I'm slippery and I can sit in that house and act as if I'm doing all of these brand new um, things and ways of being that I'm going to grab the next different, more spiritual, alternative way that's not like this. But I'm still 
in that doing same, the same form. thing. Yeah. And so for me, because I'm sure it's different for everybody, I, I would almost challenge you to do something so outside of the form of where you're conforming to just see what comes up. Because what I'm noticing is the stuff still trickles in. You know, it's still trickling in. But when I'm completely in a new environment, I'm around new relationships, I'm around new work, I'm around new and different love. I mean, mm -hmm. every facet of my life has changed. And it's good. And I don't know where it's going. Yeah. Um, and it's teaching me to, number one, stay in the moment, but number two, really dig deep, dive deep into those shadows when I can feel myself squirming about not conforming anymore. And then like rise to go up back. into the opposite choice, <clears throat> which would be the gift. Mm -hmm. That we're going to go back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can't go back. We can't go back ever again. You know, that so relates to how we began <clears throat> this video because what we were trying to do was to conform to the shape of this of the box. Chair. Trying yes. to make ourselves fit the shape. So yeah. it's not about, when I said, you know, it's not about leaving the space, in this case, leaving the space of the home was a way to actually not conform to the space because. Yeah. And then this is another way. If you notice how she's sitting, she hasn't conformed to the space. She's found a different way I found to my be space in. within the space. Exactly. Oh, no, <laughs> do that again. That was very peaceful. I probably couldn't. I don't know if I could. It just came like in the moment. Mm. It was there in the space of the new conformity. Of the new. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, it's, so, it's so clear to me that the way of the new human is the way of nonconformity. It is really saying, I don't have to be like everyone else. I'm not here to be yeah. like everyone else. I think else. the universe is going to let us. That, mm -hmm. I think that's where you know, your signs and your symbols and your synchronicities come in. Um, because it can be so subtle, at least it is for me, as I'm watching things repeat themselves. I think the universe has a bold and blatant conversation with each of us so that we can't conform and you know it says that age oh why is this happening to me again or yeah. you yeah. know I'm scurrying to do this or I'm scrambling to do this or I'm still struggling to do this or, or that big me, fear or, that big fear of <clears throat> it doesn't look like everybody else's so how could I because it's not supposed to yeah. Yeah. you're not supposed to look like everybody else I think the, 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 the key to me one of the words that's come up for us quite a few times around the gene keys is that gene key number 34, the force and the majesty. Mm. That, That's um, and I think I heard Leia say that again the other day. I'm so clear how to manifest. I think we all are. But anything where we get tired, exhausted, where we feel like we're exerting some kind of force or energy, and it's so subtle, we're just not allowing the universe to bring us what we need. I, I go back, I go back, and I may have said this before, when I... Um, last from I think it was from July to November when you and I connected the, the discomfort and yet this higher knowing sense of comfort yeah. that I was waiting for something to come and I didn't know what it was I did not have a clue I just kept saying I'll know it when it gets here I'll know it when it gets here because I'll feel no resistance and I'll know to follow the breadcrumb to take the step forward and what's so bizarre is even when you asked me, I had no alignment or resonance to being a manager for a comedian because that was the, neither one of us knew where we were going. Mm -mm. So that was the first thing out of your mouth. Would you like to manage me and travel with me while I go, you know, be funny around the world? And so here we are today doing something completely, a completely different form. Yeah. A completely different yeah. form. So I don't know what I just said. <laughs> Well, I think you just said that you were open to the possibility. Yeah. And what was beautiful about what you just said is... A friend in need, a friend indeed, yeah. So come along and play with me, yeah. I've got a game I know you want to play all day. Let's get together, we can play You brighten up my cloudy days, yeah
You always know the words to say, yeah A friend indeed, you always be my pal Right now, let's play a game, I'll show you how